Here we have some word problems that will be solved with the system equations that have to do with coins and counting money. In this first one, it says Jose has three dollars in nickels and dimes. He has nine more nickels than dimes. How many of each coin does he have? So we're going to say that N is the number of nickels and D is the number of dimes. Now the first equation here, he has nine more nickels than dimes. So the number of nickels will equal the number of dimes plus nine because he's got nine more of those. So that's one of our equations. The next equation has to do with the values of the coins and the total value that you've got. And here you want to make a decision. Are you going to be in dollars or in cents? And I'm going to choose to be in cents. So I'm going to convert this three dollars into 300 cents. So we'll do that equation like this. Nickels are worth five cents. So five times each nickel plus 10 times each dime, because dimes are worth 10 cents, adds up to 300 cents. So that's our other equation. Now this one looks like it's set up pretty well for substitution, so I'm going to take this and put it in for n. So we get 5 times d plus 9 plus 10d equals 300. And that would be 5d plus 45 plus 10d equals 300. We'll subtract 45 and we add like terms, 5D and 10D is 15D equals 255. We'll divide by 15. And let's see, I think we get 17 for the number of dimes. Now when we want to find out the number of nickels, remember he's just got nine more, so we put 17 plus nine, the number of nickels equals 26. And we're done with that one. Let's try one more. This time we have nickels and quarters, but it's going to be very much the same. A jar filled with only nickels and quarters contains a total of 54 coins. So our first equation then can be the number of nickels plus the number of quarters equals 54. That's easy enough. And then the value is 9, 10. Again, I'm going to convert to cents here. So we've got 5 times nickels plus 25 times the number of quarters equals 910 cents. And at this point, I think, let's see, it says how many quarters are in the jar. So what I'm going to do here is solve this top equation for n just by subtracting q from both sides. So you get n equals 54 minus q. And then I'm going to substitute that in down here for n. Then we'll have one equation with just q as our variable. And since we're looking for the number of quarters, that'll be the quickest way to get to the answer on this problem. So we've got 5 times 54 minus q plus 25q equals 910. And let's see, 5 times 54, that would be 270 minus 5q plus 25q equals 910. So I'll want to combine like terms and also subtract this 270. And I think we're going to get 20q equals 640 and divide both sides by 20 and we get Q equals 32. So the number of quarters in that jar is 32. So that's a little bit of work with coin problems.